Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darwin, and in today's video we got even more updates for Shadowlands Beta. It looks like majority of the beta updates for Blizzard have been not really as much with changing up total concepts of legendaries and talents, but it's mostly all about doing the balance tunings for some of the endgame systems, primarily tuning the soul binds and conduits for classes, and it's usually small tuning instead of major. But in this update we do have some swings for some talents and even some legendaries getting tuned up and down and even reworked. So in this video we're gonna go over all the things that are important and major that have happened in today's update. We'll first start off with Demon Hunters. With Demon Hunters we're seeing a slight nerf to Glaive Tempest and a redesign to Unbound Chaos with Fell Bombardment Legendary also getting buffed a little bit. On the topic of Unbound Chaos, Blizzard wanted to kind of make this ability a lot easier to use. Normally when you use Immolation Aura and then Fell Rush, a Furious Demon Hunter can be seen chasing after you and then use a Fell Eruption. It's supposed to happen where you ended your Fell Rush, but sometimes it will be a little bit too far backwards and it was just really weird to use this ability properly. So they decided to take that out completely, make it easier to aim it by just making it tied to your Fell Rush, increasing the damage of that ability instead. I wonder if that might support a momentum style playstyle where you do want to use Fell Rush offensively. If you are a Balanced Druid or a Guardian Druid, going forward into Shadowlands for level 60, then you're going to see some of your conduits buffed. For Balanced Druids and Guardian Druids, the effectiveness of a variety of different conduits as well as the power spikes they will have with higher ranks are getting quite a significant increase. It's really hard to judge some of these conduits and there's going to be a lot of conduit buffs and nerfs happening in this video. I'll try my very best to try to kind of paint everything with a broad brush by the looks of if let's say certain soulbinds and conduits are getting buffed, especially the ones that are the most important ones, is that looking like a buff or a nerf going forward for that class or another? But there's so many different options and variations of how you can customize your character that it's really, really difficult to pinpoint. However, it is safe to say that Guardian Druids and Balanced Druids conduits are getting a significant value increase, which is good news whether you play either of those two specs. Then we have a nerf to Ice Bite, which was a conduit that made your Ice Lands do baseline 25% more damage against enemies that are frozen, scaling like all the way up to 60, which this was going to be an obvious nerf. There was a lot of Ice Lands play where at some point Frost Mages could just throw down Frozen Orb and just spam Ice Lands the whole time. I don't think you should be worried if you're someone who is looking to play Frost Mage going forward, as Blizzard is mostly just trying to get rid of some of the outliers of Soul Binds in terms of the power and try to make them at least a little bit more even. But doing 25% more damage to an enemy that's frozen with how easily you can get Fingers of Frost for Frost Mage just seems too strong. And when you add Cleave on top of it, I mean, you were going to make the flavor of the expansion with this kind of a buff. So this had to be nerfed. Monks are getting significant increases to their class. We'll start first off with the Mistweaver. The legendary of ancient teachings of monastery will now work after you use an essence font, but it will grant you 120% healing based on the damage that your blackout kick, tiger palm, and rising sun kick will do. Last for 15 seconds. I'm very excited to test out this legendary for a potential Mr. or Monk fist weaving playstyle where you do damage in order to heal allies, bringing in a little bit extra punch to a situation while also being able to support your team. Tear of the Morning also got changed. Casting Vivify and Enveloping Mist on a target with Renew and Mist as a 10% chance to spread Renew and Mist to another target. Your Vivify healing through Renew and Mist is increased by 20%, and your Enveloping Mist will also heal all allies with Renew and Mist for 20% of its healing. It seems like a very much Glimmer style mechanic being added into the Mystery Room Monk with this legendary that's getting some redesign. And compared to the original version of this legendary, which was kind of hard to read at the very beginning, this is a much easier way to read the way that this legendary is set up. Then we also have a change to a legendary for Windwalker with Kefir's... Kefir's? How do you say it, actually? Kefir's Skyreach is the closest I can get it to, where Tiger Palm will now increase your critical strike chance by 50% on the target instead of 30. That's a pretty significant change and could actually make this legendary extremely strong. If you have a lot of crit stacking on your monk, using this legendary gives you a window of massive burst to a variety of different enemies. So this could be like a blood of the enemy type of playstyle turned up to an 11, but on a much smaller target pool. We also have an interesting bonus added to touch of death for all three specs of monks. And I believe some of these bonuses worked and others didn't, but these are the bonuses as follows. 
Touch of Death increases Monk's physical damage output by 15% for 10 seconds. This is a Mist River buff. The Wooden Walker buff is, you spawn 3 Chi Spheres, granting 1 Chi when you walk through them. And for Brewmaster, it reduces delayed stagger damage by 200% of the damage dealt. So it seems to be, it changes up the playstyles a little bit. I think it's about the same when you were Windwalker. It's slightly stronger maybe for Brewmaster. And I really am interested in the physical damage plus the Fist Women playstyle that a monk might be able to use with the Touch of Death and the physical damage buff that you might be able to bring into dungeons. Definitely needs a lot more testing. Then we got some changes to Paladin starting with Holy. Shadowbreaker, Dawn of the Sun, Legendary has been reworked. All allies with the new Light of Dawn benefit from Mastery, Lightbringer, as though they were within 10 yards for 6 seconds. Word of Glory receives 50 increased benefit from your Mastery. And this makes this Legendary a lot better than the original version, which was kind of like an Azerite trade that never really became, uh, at least it was maybe popular for a little bit moment at the beginning of the expansion of BFA, but never really took off. So this makes it a lot better, and now it plays with the Mastery. I don't know if Mastery has ever been a good stat for Holy Paladins, but maybe worth considering running with this Legendary. Shock Barrier also has been redesigned slightly in terms of the way that it applies the shield. Instead of granting an Absorb, Absorb being based on your spell power, it will instead do a 20% of a Holy Shock worth of heal as an Absorb to the ally. Then we have some massive updates to a variety of soul binds for your Paladin. We have a Conduit that's gotten nerfed, which is Truth Wake, but everything else have gotten buffed. Expurgation, buffed. Templar's Vindication, which gives you an Elemental Shaman-style mastery, also buffed. And my favorite one, Virtuous Command, where Judgment grants you Virtuous Command for 6 seconds, causing your Templar Verdict, Crusader Strike, Blade of Justice, and Auto Attacks to guarantee deal 40% additional damage as Holy, all the way up to the highest rank right now of 96. I wonder if this is going to create an insane, interesting playstyle, mostly for PvP Paladins, especially those Paladins that don't really like playing around wings, but rather will play around sustained damage. I'm particularly excited about this conduit, I'll need to make a separate video on it, but imagine dropping down a Judgment into an enemy, followed by a Templar's Verdict, with Blade of Justice, Crusader Strikes, while your auto attacks are going off. That's going to give you a significant boost of DPS, especially if you're looking for a burst situation, where you'll only have 6 seconds to maximize the power output of all those abilities. Then we have some changes to the Shamans, with Elemental Equilibrium Legendary getting changed i would even argue maybe potentially is a nerf but dealing direct fire damage frost damage and nature damage within 10 seconds of each other will increase all damage dealt by 15 percent for 10 seconds i think majors actually have exactly same if not a similar legendary along those lines but to me this sounds like a potential nerf for elemental shamans or i guess technically enhancement shamans can use this legendary as well let me know in the comments if you think this is a buff or a nerf Wind Fury Weapon as well as Doom Wind's Legendary for Enhancement have both took a bit of a nerf. However, Wind Fury Weapon is still in a much better spot than where it started at the beginning of this expansion. So if you're looking to play Enhancement Shaman, I wouldn't be super worried. Right now it still does a significant portion of your damage. Then of course, Doom Wind's was doing a lot of output. But even with this nerf version of this Legendary, I think it's still going to become part of the relevant playstyle of Enhancement Shamans. It doesn't look like Blizzard wants to delete this playstyle altogether, but rather try to tune it. And let's be honest, the Wind Fury weapon hits were maybe a little bit too strong at the beginning. It's still very difficult to figure out when the actual expansion release is going to be, but it does seem like majority of the tunings for the last few weeks have been just it, tunings, instead of radical new changes. And instead, even Blizzard is now going back and simplifying certain legendaries to make it easier to play with, easier to work with. But it looks like we are doing a bit more cleanup rather than radical changes in the expansion. Potentially, could we be seeing a pre-patch event for Shadowlands drop in sometime soon? And could we potentially be hearing a new release date in the near future? Who knows? But it looks like a lot of the tunings has been going on. And when Blizzard does the final tunings for the end of the expansion, like the very, very final stuff, that's usually a good sign that it's on the way here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about all these updates and I'll see all of you in another video.